you very much. And uh, I now recognize the gentleman from Indiana, Mr. Burton, former chair of this committee. Let me preface my, my remarks by welcoming you here, Ray, or Thank Mr. You. Secretary. We've been friends for a long, long time, and I know you to be a very honorable man. So the questions I'm going to ask have nothing to do with questioning your integrity. I want you to know that. There was uh, an invitation made to Mr. Strickland to testify. And there was an article in the uh, Los, Angel An Los Angeles Times today that indicated that because of your request, uh, Mr. Strickland was uh, asked not to testify today. Is there some reason for that? Well, look at Mr. Uh, Burton. Um, Mr. Strickland's been on the job 40 days. Yeah. I've been on the job uh, about 13 months. I'm not going to have our NHTSA administrator, who's been on the job 40 days, appear and look at, I'm taking responsibility for this. As I said in my testimony, safety's number one. And I'm going to be accountable. If somebody wants to criticize NHTSA or the department, I'll be responsible for that. Not somebody else. That's my job. I'm not going to duck it. And I'm not going to give it to somebody who's only been on the job 40 days. And, and uh, when I talked to Mr. Towns and Mr. Issa, it was always clear to me they wanted me to come. And I wanted to come when we, when we originally talked. So I, I don't know how that confusion occurred, but uh, that, that's the reason for it. Now, don't get it mad, mad at me, Ray. That was uh, the Los Angeles Times. <laughs> Well, just the, because I raised the little decibel in my voice doesn't mean I'm mad, Mr. Burton, I can tell you that. Mr. Secretary, I've known you for 20 years. Don't give me that stuff. <laughs> uh, you know, there's, there's a question about uh, uh, whether or not there might be some kind of a sweetheart arrangement with some of the people that preceded you working at NHTSA. And uh, uh, there are a number of people, I think at least two NHTSA employees, who now... Uh, uh, work for Toyota. They're on the Toyota p payroll. And uh, uh, I have their names here. H are you familiar with that at all, sir? I've read the reports of that, and we've looked into it. And what the, what the law requires is that if you've been an employee at DOT and you go to work for a company that does work with DOT, you cannot communicate or participate in the work that you did with this company. So if you go to work for a company, if you go to work for Toyota, you cannot communicate on issues that you dealt with at DOT. So for example, if those employees worked at NHTSA, which they did, they, they can't come back uh, and um, be talking about these things. They could talk about a highway project or, you know, something like that, I suppose. but. Uh, and, and look, here, here's my pledge to all of you. If anybody here knows that the, the, there's violations, let me know. I'll refer to the IG. Yeah. The, and there'll be an investigation. We're not going to, there has been no more higher standard set for ethics than this administration. No, I, At the first cabinet meeting, the president made it clear, I don't want any ethical problems with anybody. Well, this, this preceded you anyhow, Mr. Right. Secretary. But uh, this Mr. Cri Christopher Santushi, now uh, Toyota's Assistant Manager of Technical and Regulatory Affairs, uh, did work for the agency. And uh, according to General Motors, Ford, and Chrysler, they don't have anybody that's for formerly worked for NHTSA that's, uh, that's working for them in, in those capacities. But you're saying that these gentlemen that uh, went well, no, to work... They, they can work for Toyota, but they cannot come back and talk about issues that they worked on. They can't do that. They, they could talk to people in other modes, FAA or some other mode, but they cannot come back and talk to our folks about issues that well, they... Well, the one, one thing I would suggest is, is that the appearance is one of the things that right now I think the public is very concerned about. And a couple of people that worked at NHTSA that go to work and they're in, in a public relations uh, position, they can talk to people at NHTSA and the appearance... Uh, may be that uh, they're influencing some decision making that's going on. So I look, look at I, I agree with you on this, Mr. Burton, and, and I think this law probably should be tightened up. I, I really do, because I agree with you. Perception is reality. Anybody that's been in politics knows that. And, and I take your point on this. 
Well, thank you very much, and I still love you, Ray. Thank you. <laughs> Gentlemen, yield back. He yields back. Yeah. And I